It's absolutely wrong to think that this fella can put a 200 year old business of horse racing down the tube. It's wrong, immoral, and it's unacceptable. About 100 horse industry supporters rallied at Finance Minister Dwight Duncan's Windsor office today. They have dropped off documents showing how 60,000 people will be affected by cutting the OLG slots at Racetrack program. The, we're going to keep the pressure on. We're going to bring, be bringing these reports forward to every MPP we can. We're going to get the message out to the media that this is irresponsible government at its finest. This is the second rally held by the horse racing community since Dwight Duncan made the announcement earlier this month. Protesters fear the lack of revenue from the slots will deplete the industry. Now we, we are fighting for a I've got a check there for $380. Came last at Woodbine two weeks ago. My trainer is depending to live on that. He's willing to sacrifice everything. He won't even, he's not, he's not going to get that too. If Dwight does his way. Activists say Duncan has disputed the number of people hindered by the cuts. This government did a, uh, an overview on the race, on the horse racing industry and their, their figures range from 55 to 65, so we're quoting the, the middle number. They all know that the numbers are definitely on our side. It's absolutely ridiculous <laughs> what he's trying to do. But it's not only uh, bad business, this is immoral to put our own people out of work. The group hopes to present their case and gain support at Windsor City Council in a few weeks. Melanie Brelli, Blackburn News.